Greetings YouTube and welcome back to the Hit and Miss Workshop. Uh, we have here a Briggs & Stratton Model Y that a friend of mine contacted me about. Uh, it was coming out from a house he was helping clean out and uh, they uh, no longer needed it so I really appreciate my friend uh, give him a shout out he knows who he is. Um, I appreciate it appreciate it looking out for me helping me out with this so it's a uh, Briggs model Y lever start um, I've literally just brought it home and plopped it on the bench the only thing I've done so far is clean it up to confirm it was a Y the serial number I don't know if you guys can see that three three one three one eight so we'll have to look that up these were made 1930s and early 40s, I believe. Um, so anyway, let's see. Does it turn over? It's moving. Oh, we hit a hard stop. Something, something's a mess. Try the other way. Yep, hard stop. Uh, we'll have to look into that. We'll have to pull the head off and see what's going on. Um, let's see, air cleaner. I've never seen a Y with an original air cleaner before. Pull that off. It's in good shape. Just. A lot of surface rust, really. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry, trying to keep it in frame here. Um, let's see. Well, it's, it's time for a lot of PB Blaster, I would say. And things up. All right. So let's see what size. What size? What size? Seven sixteenths. I'm in the process of adding a workbench to the shop, so my bench is kind of messy right now. No. Sorry about that, folks. What do we have? What do we have? I'll be right back. I'm going to grab a wrench. See about getting this kill switch off it. And she's free. Now we're gonna have to pull the choke lever right here. Oops, gotta tilt you up a little. Have to pull this choke lever off here. Sorry about that. Sorry if I'm blocking the shot a little. Try to do it one-handed here. So we got a little spacer and the head bolt. What's holding this one? A little set screw. spark plug. It's an old one, that's for sure. Not good. Not good. Might have to 
apply a little heat on that. The uh, porcelain is starting to turn a little. Alright, let's see if we can get that whole plug off. Yeah, she's not going to spin without that uh, wire being on. Sorry guys if I'm blocking the view. We're gonna have to put some heat to that to get it to go. It's loose enough that the wire's starting to spin. Boy, with all that corrosion, she's a tight fit. country spark plug. To get that out I'll try to show it to you. Pretty cool. Oh my goodness. There's so much corrosion on the plug itself. I can't get it off the uh, wire at the moment. Alright, let's shoot some JB Weld in the spark plug hole. I'm JB Weld. I'm sorry. What am I saying? Let's shoot some PB Blaster in the spark plug hole. I'm thinking there's probably feels like it's right, it's either the top or the bottom of the stroke that it's hanging. And I'm thinking there's probably a little rust ring at the top of the cylinder above where the piston sat in the damp basement for years. Let's pull the head off and see what we can see. these bolts and things. This uh, engine, mm -hmm. that one doesn't want to go. That one wants to go easily. That one was easy. And that one's easy. More blaster on that. Workbench. coming out. Just a little bit of patience sometimes. So 
So that first head bolt was a long one with a spacer on it for the kill switch. So far the others are all shorter. has an original decal on the engine shroud, which I'll show you later. It, uh, yeah. So here's in Roebuck. That's kind of cool. All right. The head is unbolted, but we're going to have to get this engine shroud off. Probably means we need to get this Kickstarter off. As soon as I figure out how it's. Yeah, so, looks like it's all one assembly. There's a cotter pin right here. That might be interesting to get out. I don't feel the tabs, yeah. It's, it's too short for the uh, application. It, wasn't bent over at the base. Maybe we to do this. Is it clear of the shroud? I don't know. All right, I'm gonna work. All right. Uh, welcome back, everybody. Uh, messing with the shroud a little bit. It's kind of frozen, but. Looks like I might be able to get the head off with the shroud in place. Hopefully we don't mess up the head gasket. Get the shroud off after all. Feels like the just don't have enough clearance in that. Oop, there we go. She's off. Wow, well, you can probably see there's a lot of carbon in there. A lot of carbon. See why she's. Oh. Okay. Huh. Stuck valve. We have a stuck valve. That's a problem. Now, if I can find my magic hammer. So this valve is moving, and this valve is stuck. Grab the wrong stuff. I've not messed with a lot of Briggs before. I'm certainly no expert, but we're going to learn together. find my hammer. I'm not seeing my hammer. Like I said, I'm reorganizing my workshop and this bench is a mess right now. I'll bring you back when I find my hammer. Find... Alright guys, we're back. Uh, I took off the head gasket while you were gone. I, uh, Gently tap the uh, the stuck valve there, but uh, it's going to take some more work to get that free. Uh, but you can see all the carbon 
If you look down here in the uh, cylinder, the bore is not bad. It's uh, I can't see cross hatching anymore, but there is no. I ran my fingernail over it before. There is no ridge. Um, this is that cross country spark plug I was talking about. If I can get her to focus. Oh, come on, focus. No, well, doesn't seem to want to focus. Um, so anyway, I think we're going to leave it there for tonight. It's dinner time. I'll put a little oil WD-40 in the uh, cylinder to keep it from rusting up. Put some penetrating oil um, PB Blaster in around that valve and in around the exhaust because to get to the valve cover and to get the uh, exhaust off and the carburetor. Now the carburetor was stuck before the butterfly valve and I sprayed it with a little blaster a few minutes ago and it cleaned right up. Alright, so uh, we'll make that the end of part one of the Briggs & Stratton Model Y. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like what you're seeing on the channel, please consider subscribing. Hit the subscribe button below. Uh, and the little bell icon next to it to be notified when I upload a new video. And uh, if you could leave a thumbs up, that would be a big help to the channel. Thanks, and...